Hello everyone, I am Candace Coleman. And I am Jeffrey Wilson, and thanks for watching The Daily Mix. Oh my gosh, I have missed you. I haven't seen you since before opening day. It's been Cardinals. a hot minute, it's definitely been a hot minute. How have you been? I've been fantastic. Like I say, every day above ground is a good day. I love it. I, that's good. How are the kids doing? Fantastic, as always, and you? Logan just turned 13. Teenager, what are you gonna do? Oh Let's change the coming. subject, it's freaking me out already. So by now, I am sure you've all heard the multi-platinum Grammy Award winner and lemonade selling artist Beyonce is coming to St. Louis. Indeed, now I'm sure the St. Louis Beehive is quite ecstatic, ladies and gentlemen. Earlier this week, it was announced that Beyonce added St. Louis to her formation tour. Uh, Beyonce will be coming to town Saturday, September 10th to the Dome at America Center. Pre-sale tickets are on sale now and tickets to the general public on sale on the 23rd at 10 a.m. For more information, visit LiveNation.com. And I'm glad they're filling the dome. Are you gonna no. go check that show out though? Oh, you know, I heard she puts on a tremendous show. You gotta like take out another mortgage or something to go see it. I know How those, much are tickets? I don't know. I know they can't be cheap though, it's Beyonce, right? Yeah, but you know what? If they're gonna go to, you know, up the production level and really put their heart and soul, I don't mind spending a little bit more. I heard she puts on an amazing show. It's you definitely think Chase will be in there? Uh, who knows? Who knows? Yeah, you might be wanting to follow her around just to get who? back her on your good side. Now, ladies and gentlemen, if you know and you know Beyonce will be in action wearing nothing but some of the best costumes. And coming dressed to impress to prom is what most students look forward to yes. most about that big event. Uh, it's, prom is huge. It's absolutely huge, and you got to check this out. Speaking of Beyonce, did you see the young lady from St. Louis that was inspired by Beyonce's 2015 mm. Met Gala gown? Miss India Ross, an aspiring fashion designer, is currently a student at Hazelwood West and plans to attend Columbia College in the fall to study fashion merchandising. And she looks amazing. Now she's getting a lot of attention on social media and she's been featured in Cosmo, Seventeen Magazine, US Weekly, and more with this design. And I heard she spent like 800 bucks. It to looked get this amazing. whole look together, but you know, Beyonce's was probably like ten, fifteen, twenty thousand dollars times three. I'm sure. But you man. know what? I did see some of her um, Facebook and some some of the social updates, and some people are like shaming her. I mean, the girl it looks amazing. Worked so hard on this dress. You what know, does Cat Williams say? Haters gotta hate. Everybody's uh, gotta have their own little lane. People she's laughing her. all the way to the bank because she's all over the media. So there good go. for her. Good there for we you, go. India. Well, congrats to you, India, and good luck on your future endeavors. And make sure you stay tuned. Coming up, find out how you can enjoy a million dollar evening with the star of Bravo's million dollar listing, LA. Okay, now let's get started on today's Daily Mix. Woot, woot. Now we told you about Queen Bee coming to town on September 10th, and in addition to the Queen coming to the Lou, the beloved Lou Fest takes place September 10th and 11th. But unfortunately, the 2015 secret sale tickets sold yes. out already, gang. Now this means the two-day early bird passes are available for $75, but the lineup has not even been announced yet. Any guesses on who well, might be so showing up? I read Kevin Johnson, you know, from the Post, the pop music critic, mm -hmm. and he's thinking Chance the Rapper. This is his hope, wish, and dream list. Sure, sure. Okay, and then Calvin Harris, Mr. DJ, and then Kendrick Lamar, maybe. Isn't this timed with the whole Beyonce concert? So yeah. isn't there some maybe wondering if Jay-Z shows up? You think? You think what? I don't know. Luke Fest is huge. You know? I don't know. We'll Props see. Props for his rep if he comes, you we'll know? See. All right. For more information on tickets and more for Loot Fest 2016, visit LootFest.com. Mm -hmm. And while Loot Fest may be a staple in Forest Park in the Central West End, unfortunately, a great restaurant is leaving the Central mm -hmm. West End. It is. Now, that is absolutely right. Herbie's Vintage 72 is moving to Clayton in November this year. Currently, the new, no new location is occupied by Caldwell's in Clayton, which is another great it establishment. Is, it is. And it's the Cardinals has been there for a long time. The owner says the move is an opportunity for growth and they're excited to continue to serve with the finest service 
So make sure you visit them when they make the move. A sad goodbye to Herbie's. But they're moving to a much better, I mean, not much better, but just yeah. as good location. Clayton is just as viable a market area. As yeah, I mean, it's a good person. location. I mean, they're going to get a lot of foot traffic. Oh, it's yeah. nice and I think they could probably serve more people because Cardwell's is pretty big. It is. Most so definitely. best of luck to the Cardwell's folks, too. Absolutely. So. Best of luck. Change, All right. change is good, man. Change yeah, is good. you know what happens. All right, many restaurants are places young people seek employment during the summer, and St. Louis is the place to be if you're looking for a job or an internship. That's right. According to a marketing site, Wallet Hub, the city ranks number eight out of 150 for largest cities in the U.S., and the site lists St. Louis number 11 for summer job availability and number 13 for internship availability. That's pretty spectacular. Nice. To see the complete list, visit wallethub.com. And do you remember your first internship? No. I worked for Benita Cornut at Channel 2, and uh, we didn't—we never got paid. And I think interns nowadays, they get paid. I thought that was the whole thing. It was usually for like college credit or something like that. I don't know. When I was working at the casino, we paid like 14 bucks an hour. Well, intern, that's good. So. In St. Louis, you definitely have an opportunity and likelihood of getting placed somewhere. You Best know? of luck, guys. Congratulations goes to two local business owners on receiving awards from Small Business Week of Eastern Missouri during National Small Business Week. Tommy Davis Jr., the president of TD4 Electrical, received the Minority Business of the Year Award. Congratulations. TD4 is a tier one provider to businesses and industries. And in addition to creating electrical jobs, the company is dedicated to giving back to the community. Always a good thing. Now, Chris Robinson, founder of R3 Coaching, received the Home Based Business of the Year Award. He's an international speaker and executive coach devoted to the development of individuals and businesses through speaking, training, and one on one coaching. How oh, cool is that? very cool. Find out more about these local winners by visiting Small Business Week, East of Missouri at SBW. WEM.org. And speaking of winners, you're a homeowner, right? I am not a homeowner. I okay, rent. well, you need to buy. Because uh, the St. Louis Association of Realtors just uh, list their monthly housing report oh, and median I heard about sales this. price. 17% off. That's huge. That's huge. I mean, that is like huge. I mean, that's proof that, you know, I'm telling you, housing real market's coming is back. is the best investment. So, I mean, I heard that and I buzzed on that. And I'm like, okay. Well, you're into, you're a realtor, right? Well, I, I was. Now I work for the St. Louis Association of Realtors. Oh, okay. Full disclosure, Ooh, shameless plug but, there. Okay. Well, but I mean, 17%. No, it's huge. There, I mean, now is the time. And if you are on the fence about whether or not you want to sell your house, I mean, they're getting multiple offers well over list, so there you go. News you can use, my friend. Absolutely. And knowing is half the battle. And congratulations are in order for the marketing and communications executive, Shantae Shields Yay! Ryan, for winning the Silver Award in Advertising and Gold Award for Public Relations from the Boys and Girls Clubs of America. I love Shantae. So well deserved. She received her award last week. And to find out more about the local Boys and Girls Club in the St. Louis metro area, make sure you tune into the Daily Mix tomorrow as we speak with Dr. Flint Fowler about the upcoming summer with the organization. And you know what that makes me think of? Summer camp. Summer camp. And I miss that so much. I know. I can't believe school's going to be out in a week. What about for your kids? Are they out? Um, she's next Friday. She's out. And we have a jam-packed summer plan already. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What you got going on? You got None of your business. Okay. Missouri Baptist Medical Center has been named Magnet Hospital by the American Nurses Credentialing Center. <laughs> That's right. You know, you, and this means, this means Missouri Baptist has the highest quality nursing team caring for patients. Good for them. Missouri Baptist is a 489-bed hospital employing about 1,000 nurses. Now, in addition to Mo Baptist being named a magnet, Barnes Jewish and St. Louis Children's Hospital were named. Now, for more information about these hospitals, visit Missouri baptist.org very very well deserved and seriously i mean i'm like still laughing inside well it is an interview oh, business, on, you but if you tell must me know something. what are you doing we're, we're gonna be doing we're gonna head to chicago we're gonna do a lot of water park stuff a lot of swimming um there's a there's a lot man this summer's gonna be long but you know i'm gonna enjoy it for you, good for you. I'm sending Logan away for the first time, five days away to um, get Bible camp, and I'm like, he's never been away from me for five days in a row. So first like, bottle of wine is on me. Okay. Miss Leslie McSpadden, mother of Michael Brown Jr., the 18-year-old killed in 2015 in Ferguson, has penned her very first book with the help of Lia Beth Lafleur. Tell the truth, shame the devil hit shelves earlier this week, and in the autobiography, McSpadden recounts her life with her son, the feelings she had during her son's untimely death and the events happening in the aftermath. Books are available at local bookstores and for more information about the Michael Brown Foundation, visit michaelodbrown.org. 
something hopefully good coming out of that whole very tragic situation. As obviously. a mother, I just I can't imagine. Yeah. I just can't I can't even imagine. So God definitely, bless her. Definitely tough situation. All right, well now joining us is one of my favorite people in the world, Carl Lund, and of course Carol what I'm Watanabe. Watanabe. Watanabe! Watanabe. <laughs> practiced for so long. <laughs> we did. To tell Step us how you can enjoy a million dollar <laughs> evening while giving back to military families in need. You guys, you have this. First of all, thank you for coming on the show. Carl, you organized this tremendous event. Tell us what's going on. So it's a, it's a beautiful mansion, Lake St. Louis. It's a $40 million mansion, 40,000 square feet. and. Uh, Luckily, a friend of mine owns the home, and uh, they're very generous with uh, charitable organizations. And I serve on the board of uh, directors for LPE, Little Patriots Embraced, and I asked Harold if we can use it for uh, use this home for a charity event, and uh, he was very quick to say yes. Okay, so this is not just any charity event. So I love Million Dollar Listing, the show on Bravo. So you got Josh Flagg. We have Josh Flagg, star Coming of in. Million Dollar Million Dollar yes. Listing, Los Angeles, was well, a celebrity huge hit. Touch a little bit. Yep, it was a huge hit. They spawned off many more. Uh, many more shows in different cities, but this one has been the, the largest and he's he's such a great person and being a realtor and uh, fitting him into a $40 million mansion, yeah. it's just... It's like the perfect event. Well yeah. done, my friend. And I understand this house has got like it's got leather a floors. Alley. A bowling and... alley. Leather floors, indoor, outdoor pool, uh, bowling alley, basketball, um, indoor basketball court, uh, amazing multi-million dollar theater. It's, uh, it's, you would not believe, it's, well, it's one of the most expensive houses in the country. Sounds and, like it. And you guys are gonna get to see it. I'm excited, but it's all for a really great cause. So Carol, let me have the bear. Oh, here I he is. I wanna hold the bear, the bear is so cute. <laughs> so tell us about Little Patriots Embraced. Little Patriots. Well, Little Patriots Embraced is a nonprofit organization. We've been around for 12 years, since 2004, serving military families. That's our mission. We have a special focus on the kids. We have programs for the children. We travel around the country to military bases and take our programs. Awesome. And it is just awesome to serve. Mm -hmm. awesome. It's great. Uh, this event is very important to us, June 4th. Uh, we hope that the general public will be watching today and, and hopefully they'll give us a call at 314-821-5800 and talk with Jackie about tickets. Okay, so it's gonna be really beautiful hors d'oeuvres, wine, and you also have a, a bunch of great local media celebrities that are coming. I was really excited. A bunch of my buddies from Fox 2 are coming. Smash. Smash is coming. Very cool. Uh, Randy Naughton, we have Margie Ellisor, Sandy Miller, um, Rafer Weigel. I love his name, but I can't say it, but he's, he's awesome. <laughs> it's like, Watanabe. Watanabe. Yeah, Watanabe. Watanabe. Okay, I got it. Uh, we have a lot of great people coming. Smash, uh, 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 Steve Davis is the uh, is the Elvis impersonator. I'm from Vegas, and I've seen my fair share of Elvis impersonators. So he uh, he made me pull my car over and turn around and go back to 550 when I heard him on Frank Opinion, and uh, I got uh, I got to sit there and watch him sing in the studio. It was pretty neat. And you know what's really cool, Carl? And you're, you would, you're gonna probably kill me for bringing this up. You're an amazing photographer. I love your pictures. You're the Thank only you. one that can shoot me and make me look halfway decent. But you also donate so much of your time, not just for a little Patriots Embrace, but you do the honor flights too. Greater St. Louis Honor Flight, yeah, I fly with them to, to DC. I'm not their only photographer, but uh, it's something I love to do. I'm on the board of directors for the USO also, so we, everything that everything that I'm on the board for or anything that has to do with military charities, we uh, I invest heavily. And you have a day job too. So yeah. you're doing all of this, you're organizing all these amazing events, taking all, these, all this, and you're traveling with these veterans and fulfilling wishes for them, yeah. and you still have a day job. Yeah, take, yeah I take, my, I take uh, time off. Uh, vacation days, so I'm, I'm sacrificing my my vacation time for the veterans. That is awesome. How'd you guys hook up, by the way? Well, we met through another mutual friend, but he's being very shy about his about the time that he gives to military organizations. Carl is fantastic. We were at Fort Campbell this past weekend, Aww. serving our military children. We brought our programs there, and we got some help with photography on the base. You know, on over the weekend, uh, he's always there to help us, and he's on our executive board. And uh, I'm real proud to say that uh, he's a friend. He's a great friend. And you guys do like scholarships. So tell, go a little well, bit more we, in detail for what you do. Well, we have our programs. Our programs involve uh, the Military Kids Fit for Life program. Uh, that is an anti-bullying and fitness program that we take around to the military bases. We have Project Bear Essentials, the little bear you're holding oh, right now. So cute. We give those to our military children <laughs> along with a book, 
that uh, the kids get. We have a reading program for ages 2 to 12, and it involves a kids' chat session, and it's really a great, uplifting program for the kids. Many of these kids have been through so many deployments already. Of course. We, we had over 1,300, I believe, deployed last week from Fort Campbell before we got there. So there were a lot of children affected by that deployment. We're off to other bases around the country this year, and we're so excited to meet those kids. We also have programs here at home. We help um, with our emergency fund. We have a fund that helps military families that are in crisis. We have a toy drive that starts October 15th every year and we give toys to the kids of the families that are in need. And believe me, there's a lot of families out there that need our help right now. Now, you started this charity. What made you want to start it? Well, it started, it's a long story, but I'll give you the very short version of it. Uh, in 2004, we started the, the organization, but in December of 2003, I was at a house party, and I uh, met a young lady who, her husband was in the reserves until 9-11 happened. Yeah. He was deployed and she was very pregnant and had two other children on her arm oh, wow. at this event. And she told me, there is no one that I can lean on emotionally. Wow. And she, you know, the thing is, is they never complain throughout the years of me doing this since 2004. I've never had a mother complain about her husband deploying and serving our country. They're proud to serve our nation and they just need a little emotional support. They need to know that the general public cares and that we love them, and that's what LPE does. And a great way to care is to come to the event, so remind us yes. again where we can get more information. June and 4th, dates. June 4th um, is the event. We oh, hope you'll be the there. pictures, by the way, of this house. Beautiful, beautiful home. We want you to see it. We want you to meet the celebrities we have coming and to support us. You can go onto our website at littlepatriotsembrace.org. You Carl, can... did you shoot those pictures? Yes, Clearly he the did. Project. Yes, he <laughs> did. Clearly the <laughs> that looks like a, it, it looks like a castle. That's it great. does. It does. And on the inside, it is fabulous. And you don't want to miss this. It's a $200 donation to Little Patriots Embrace. Tax deductible, I'm sure. Tax deductible. Love it. Because Open our sponsors door. are taking care of the expenses. My children. We what have is that? fabulous what is that? That's Oh, the that's a dining floor. room. Oh, dining my God. room. That's yes. the dining room. The, the previous picture was the leather floor, and all that wood came from Africa. Oh my gosh. It's just fabulous. And how many people live in this 40,000 square foot house? Four. <laughs> oh my god. No, but, but, but you have to understand, he's a sports agent, so he has 40 different Everyone players. 10, oh my god. Yeah, and, and, uh, and his players come stay. They, they treat all 40 plus players like their family, and they do come and stay at his home with them, and their families come along with them. It's... Uh, and did he, like, he had a uh, connection with Glamour Shots too, didn't he? In the old days, yeah, it, a long time ago he started. I think I believe he started glamour shots. Oh my gosh! I and you know what? He's I gonna saw, kill me now if it did. I saw an interview <laughs> with him. I did see an interview with him that you had sent me a link of. And he's just really down to earth. Yeah. You know, Mr. Lewis and Harold and Jill, they are fantastic people, and I, I just couldn't believe that they would open their home for Little Patriots Embraced. They're very, very much into helping the military, wow. and this is going to be a fabulous night. Your people can call 821-5800 and talk to Jackie and get tickets. It's a $200 tax deductible donation. We hope you'll be there. That is awesome. Well, I'm very excited. Once again, 314-821-5800, or you can always log on to www.littlepatriotembrace.org and Saturday, June 4th, 7, 11 p.m. Thank you, Carl. Thank yeah. you, Carol. What time be? Watch an Abby. Wow, I still can't get it right. <laughs> little patriots. Thank you guys so much. And check us out on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram. And drop us a line at The Daily Mix at stltv.net. Of course, we always want to hear from you. Now that is it, gang, for The Daily Mix. But keep it right here on STLTV and experience St. Louis. And we will see you next time. See you guys. Thank you guys Thank you so, so much. much. Oh, I want a hug. I want a hug.